Hello, this is Ageless John and another tutorial about Android Studio. Alright, today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be working with actual code. What we're going to do this episode is we're just going to implement the code and we're going to see how it runs. And then over the next couple of episodes, I'm going to discuss what this does, how it works, and the important things that I believe most of you need to know or should want to know. And if you find it uninteresting uh, or you just don't want to know, you can just skip the next couple episodes and just do the coding. So that's entirely up to you. So we're going to be doing some coding. We're going to be working with something called a splash. And uh, then we'll be going through the next episodes, uh, explaining what's happening in the background, what the code means, uh, some of the important things. And then after that, uh, because this will be the first time that we use uh, the uh, large emulator, I'm going to go in uh, after I explain what I've done this episode. I will do a tutorial on Guinea Motion and then a tutorial on how to get your personal app connected to uh, Android Studio and use it in order to uh, test and run your personal written apps. So that's what the plan is, and we are going to have a lot of fun in this tutorial. It's going to be really cool, uh, I think. Uh, so, well, let's see. First thing that we're going to need to do is we're going to need to get a picture of some drawables. And then we're going to need to be able to copy and paste the codes uh, into di various different uh, pieces. Uh, so what we're going to do here is we're going to open up a browser. I am going to be using the project structure that we created from the last tutorial. So uh, you should open that. And after that's open, open up a browser uh, just go here and then type in tiny earl dot com forward slash and then ageless John that will take you to my website what I want you to do here is click on splash button you can use, use that key or the key at the top called splash and uh, this is what we're going to be using this whole page right here all the code of course the individual buttons at the top uh, those will take you to the individual pieces that we're going to be needing. So first thing I want you to do is get this image. Save image. Uh, I save my image to a particular place. All right, I want you to call this splash underscore image. And it needs to be a JPEG or a PNG file. Either one is fine. <laughs> I've already saved it. So there you go. Now you've got the image. Now go up to here, find the image. And this is the easiest way I can explain how to get the image to where you need to be. Go back into Android Studio, go up to Drawable, go down here to Show in Explorer, click on that, and it'll bring up this menu. And you just open up the Drawable. And go back to your captured uh, image and just drag and drop. Now, when you come back here to Android Studio, you notice that it has a little window, and there's your image. That's the image that you're going to be using. The first thing that we're going to create here is the layout first. So, let's create a layout by uh, right clicking on Layout, which is here in Res, Layout. And select new layout resource file uh, give it a name and this example I'm going to use splash.xml okay oops L okay Now we go into layout, select splash. You see here it's open. Go down here to text. Now we need to copy and paste some code from the website into here. So go back to the website, click on the splash XML, and you will need to copy and paste this. 
back into your Android Studio. Just completely overwrite everything that's there. And it I know it's double spaced. There's a just that's just what happens when I when you copy and paste from that website. So there's that. Okay, that looks cool and everything, but that's not what we want to do. That's not our finished product. We're creating a splash screen. And a splash screen is a separate activity uh, that will dis display ahead of what other activities. Uh, most splash screens are like the little screens that flash up in front uh, when you're opening uh, an app, uh, like Skype and things of that nature. So in order to create uh, this splash activity, uh, we need to create a class. Uh, we need we do that by creating a new class by selecting app java your package name right here in my example uh, both here and on my website uh, I will point that out because this is what you need to be using uh, throughout your code instead of what I have because yours will probably be a little different. So anyway, once you're here, right click, new Java class. And we're gonna add the name to this Java class will be splash screen. And like, mo like Java, you wanna give it camel case letters, splash screen. Okay, now you want to go back to the website and you can either scroll down just a tiny bit to the splash screen activity right here and you need to copy and paste this. Now this part right here, this colored part, that has to be your specific package name. So your package name needs to go there. I'm using mine. Just highlight that copy and this is the individual who actually created this code uh, I give a shout out and a thanks at the bottom of the web page so just going back in here paste there you go all right now in order to get your splash screen to work you will need to have it uh, referred to uh, in the Android Android manifest uh, so we're gonna have to open manifest file by clicking right here on app and then manifest and then Android manifest now here we're gonna have to add a reference to the new activity we just created and change the launcher activity we do that by opening this going over to the web page again scrolling down to Android manifest again noticed the highlighted areas these must be replaced with your package names just copy go back to Android studio get rid of this and paste now we need to be able to run this in the emulator so what we're going to do is we're just going to click run and this is going to take a while um, because normally what you want to do is you want to open up your emulator uh, before you start doing other things because your emulator takes a while to uh, start up so we're going to take a couple seconds to wait for that. there it's appeared uh, I still need to give it a couple of seconds to run. Whether you've run yours before or not, uh, depending on what is going on in the background this may take longer or less time now when this starts out the first time it will not it's not going to work properly so we're going to have to play with it a second in order to get it to work 
Oh, it did work the first time. And that's the splash screen. And then it goes over to your project structures. For some of you that may not work properly. So what I suggest you do is get out of this, go into your menu here, scroll down to you find project structure. Now, if you've started this before, it should already be at the top, but this is probably the first time you run it. Click on project structure and your little splash screen will come up and then your app will run. So that's the end of the tutorial. And um, I hope you enjoyed yourself. I thought this was pretty cool because the splash screen is something that you can take away from here and use repeatedly uh, whenever you're doing programs. Uh, it's just a cool little interesting thing to do. Plus it'll provide a useful insight into a whole bunch of the mechanics and the hidden parts in the background that are going on that I can discuss in the next uh, tutorials. Then after that, of course, I already mentioned I'll be doing a tutorial on uh, how to install uh, Guinea Motion and then how to use your own personal phone. And I will also do a tutorial on how to make a uh, Android emulator that's similar to this, but customized, uh, which won't take very long. So anyway, I'm glad you joined me. This is Aceless John teaching about Android Studio and apps. Uh, please come again and be sure to subscribe and thumbs up. And uh, thanks.